my gosh, I just thought of a really cute name for this project. Momplement Magnet Frame. Oh, so cute. Mother's Day gift, you're going to want to have some canning lid rings. These are the rings that screw on around the mouth of the jar to hold the lid down. And these ones are silver, but they come in gold as well. The next thing you're going to need is a sheet of plastic. And I'm just upcycling some used packaging that something I purchased came in. The next thing you'll need is some Sharpies in your mom's favorite colors. You will need a little piece of cardboard. This is just a small enough piece to fit these two. And you'll want to make sure that you have enough cardboard for all of your little rings that you're making, so make sure that you have enough. Uh, I'm just using a piece from a little cardboard box that something came in. So again, I like to upcycle, so you'll see a lot of that on my channel here. Next, you're going to need something to cut that cardboard. So I've got a box cutter or a pair of scissors, your choice of what you would rather use. Personally, I'm probably going to use the scissors just because they're a little easier for me to control. <laughs> the next thing you're going to need is a nice big sheet of paper, big enough to fit your little frames on, your little uh, canning rings, because they will be, this will be the background in your little uh, gift for your mom. So. This paper came from the Recollections Back to Basics paper pad. It's a paper pad that I bought at Michael's. Um, it comes with 90 designs. It has 180 sheets, so you get two of each sheet of paper. And a lot of them are really cute. So all of the paper in this tutorial is gonna be out of that pad. Uh, just because I know a lot of people might ask. So you don't have to use the same exact papers I'm using, of course. You can use whatever you want. Just make sure your mom will like it and It'll all be good. So in our love note frames, we are going to write our little love notes on some cute little hearts cut out of scrap paper. I have a bunch of scrap paper. Uh, like I said, this is from the same pack that this paper came out of. And I chose these colors because they stood out really nicely against this light blue. And I'm just going to cut these into little heart shapes and write cute notes on them. To hang up our cute little frames, we're going to want to put them on magnets. I just have some cheap little magnets you can get at the craft store in a pack and these should be able to hold these up pretty well as long as you're not just stuffing these with notes. They shouldn't be too heavy for these little magnets. Now to glue our paper to our cardboard, I'm going to be using some Eileen's Original Tacky Glue. I think this is probably my favorite kind of glue because it's just, it's, it holds really well and it brushes on really well. Um, I will also be using a hot glue to adhere the magnets and the cardboard to the jar Oop. lid. And I'll also be using the hot glue to adhere the plastic to the jar lid. And these magnets are sticking to everything. And now that we've made a huge mess of our workspace, let's get started working on our cute little love note frame. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is trace the cardboard piece with a little pencil. And I'm just going to trace on the interior of the rim, making sure that I've got the tip of the pencil right on the edge of the metal part. That way this little piece of cardboard will fit right inside here. We're gonna do that twice. And we're just gonna cut these little guys out. And I like to cut the circles out of the large piece and make it into a smaller piece. It just makes it a lot more manageable. If you did it right, the cardboard will snap right into place really easily, just like that. And if you didn't do it right, like I did with my second one, it will not snap into place very nicely. It will fall all the way in, um, which is not something I intended to do, but I think I can salvage this. So I'm not too terribly worried about the fact that I cut this one a little too small. 
And if anything, I can always get another piece of cardboard and cut out another circle. Next, we're gonna do the same thing with the plastic, um, but we are going to have to use a permanent marker because the pencil will not show up on the plastic. So wish me luck, you guys, because this part can be kind of scary because I don't know if I have any more plastic. The trick to cutting around things is to turn slowly while you're cutting and it gets a better round cut. Alright, I've got my little plastic circles cut and we're just going to discard the rest of the plastic scraps and we're going to see if they fit in our little rims here. All right, so they should just pop right in. Oh, they're a little too big, so we're gonna have to trim some off. I trimmed a little bit off of this side, so I'm gonna pop it in and see if I need to trim any more off. It looks like it's not sitting in there quite flat, so it looks like I need to trim some off right here. And the trimming the plastic, that's Kind of a, a bunch of trial and error, but you'll figure it out, I'm sure. I, I have faith in you. Okay, we'll see if that worked. That's just right. Okay. So now we have a cute little frame. So now we're going to glue the plastic pieces into our little jar of lids. For this step, I will be using hot glue, so if you are too young to use a hot glue gun um, or just not comfortable with using heat glue, you can use the Eileen's Tacky Glue. It's just not going to be as durable. Um, you can also ask, like let's say if you're too young to use one, you could ask an adult to help you. So with the hot glue, we're going to put a little bead of glue all the way around. Ooh, I can't see what I'm doing. All the way around the inside of your jar lid. And we're going to put our little piece of plastic in there. So with the hot glue, we're going to put a little bead of glue all the way around, ooh, I can't see what I'm doing, all the way around the inside of your jar lid. We want to be careful not to put down too much glue, otherwise it will bleed through the frame. And we don't really want a messy look here. so. We're gonna try and be careful. Also, we're gonna have to move quickly because the hot glue will cool quicker because the metal will wick the heat right out of that glue. So we will have to move sort of quickly. And we're just going to press the plastic down into the glue to help it set. And just for good measure, we're going to put another bead of glue along the interior there. And I'm having a really hard time with this little thing on the bottom, so hopefully your glue gun won't give you as many problems as mine is right now. Now it looks pretty messy on the inside, but we won't be seeing the interior of this thing. We'll be seeing it from this side, and we will just want to clean off all those little glue strings. And now that those glue strings are off, you can see that it looks really cute, and it's not popping back out of there, so that's really great! Now we're going to trace our lids and cut out our little background piece of paper to glue onto our cardboard circles. Now I originally filmed a little clip saying to use the cardboard circles as your stencil. However, it can be really easy to make parts of your circle not the right size as your cardboard. So what I would recommend is using the rim itself because it's a little bit bigger than the cardboard and you'll be able to have a little more leeway with cutting the paper. 
Um, so I'm going to just trace very lightly with this pencil around this lid. And then when you've cut out the circle um, that you traced with your lid, you can place it over your cardboard and see that it actually has some wiggle room here so that you can trim off the extra pieces when this is done drying because we're going to glue this piece of paper to this piece of cardboard. All right, now we're gonna glue our paper to our little sheets of cardboard. I've got a paintbrush here because it's a lot easier to spread the glue and it'll prevent big ugly bumps from showing up. And we really don't want big ugly bumps in our gifts for our moms because we want these to be beautiful. So we are going to take the lid off of our glue and we're going to use our paintbrush to grab some. There we go. And we're going to paint that glue right onto our cardboard circles here. Now to glue the paper onto our cardboard I'm going to take a piece of the paper and turn it over and I'm going to turn the cardboard over glue side down on top of that paper and stand right over it and try to center it and then press evenly on all sides and you will get your paper glued down very nicely and evenly without any bumps. All right, while our background pieces dry, we're gonna make our little love notes to our moms. Now, I'm sure you guys know how to cut out a simple paper heart, but just a refresher in case you haven't done one before. Uh, basically what you do is you take your paper and crease it. All right, and I'm making my hearts really tiny because I want at least three of them to fit inside these little uh, frames here and what we're gonna do is trace half of a heart onto this side here pardon my shaky hand oh my hands are so shaky and we're going to cut those out And we're gonna unfold it, and it's a super cute, tiny little heart. And you can write something nice about your mom on here. So think of us a uh, few nice things to say about what you love about your mom. So for instance, my mom is crafty. And we can write a few different things, like if your mom is fun, or smart, or silly. Those would be great things to put in there. So I'm just going to set that right there, and I'm going to make some more. So when we go to glue these together, we're going to put the uh, lids face down like this, and pour our little hearts into them. Um, try to make them face outwards so that it's more likely that they'll be readable and kind of try to get them all in the center so that they don't run the risk of getting any glue on them and now that the hot glue gun is probably ready to go we're going to start gluing these together before you use any glue make sure to trim down the paper and the inside of your little circle here to make sure that it's down about the size of the cardboard Okay, trimmed this down. Now I'm going to put it right in there. It might take a little doing to get it to stay in, but we're going to want it to sit right inside that rim there. Just like that. Oops! <laughs> See, I told you. It could be a little bit tricky at first to get this in. If you have any trouble, trim off a little bit because you will see where your problem areas are because they will get kind of bulgy and not really want to go in right. Make sure no trimmings fell inside and try again. I've got it in there, but it feels like it's too far in for me to really see these guys. We're going to try and get it back out of there. Oh, nope. It's not going to come out. Let me just say that it's really hard to pull these out of here once you get them in, so do not push them in too far. I made a huge mistake. Me making the mistakes for you guys, so you don't have to. Um, and I realized that you really don't need to put hot glue in 
the rim here um, because they're really hard to pull out of there. However, you do need the hot glue to apply the magnet. And what I'm going to do is use a scrap piece of cardboard so that the magnet will reach the refrigerator once you go to glue it or put it up. I'm going to make the cardboard about the same size as the magnet so that it's not super noticeable. And then I'm going to glue that on with the hot glue gun. So I'm just going to, maybe on here, so we don't burn our fingers, right? Ah, that would be bad. I'm just going to put it right in the middle there. Okay. I'm going to put that cardboard little circle there. And then put some more hot glue there. Woo! Got a bubble. I'm going to put in on the magnet. I went ahead and grabbed my whiteboard to see if we could get this to stick on nicely, and it does, which I'm really happy about. So the magnet works really well, and you just give it a shake, and you get to see what uh, compliments you are giving to your mom. And this would be great to keep maybe on their desk or on the refrigerator, and I'm sure that your mom would really appreciate some momplements because Hey, being a mom is sometimes a thankless job, so um, any cute little compliments your kids might give you would be a really great thing to have. So I really recommend you guys try this out. And I do have an Instagram. It's called Art by Karen E. Haley because my main YouTube channel is Art by Karen E. Haley. And if you guys would like to subscribe to this channel for more videos, I upload regularly on Mondays and sometimes throughout the week with bonus videos just like this one. And I do hope that you guys check out my main channel and I also have a blog channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please Instagram me if you do this yourself. I'd love to see what your guys' projects turn out looking like. Looking like and I will see you guys in the next video.